This is the video solution for problem 9 from Super Quiz 3. So here we're asked to anti-differentiate a function which we know from earlier in this class has no elementary antiderivative, namely the sinc function, sine of x over x. Now we're told instead of finding an antiderivative in the usual way, we should use the Maclaurin series expansion for sine of x over x, and that we should expect to leave our answer in the form of a power series. This isn't a big surprise. If after writing it as a power series, we were able to find some elementary function that equaled that power series, well, then we would have found an elementary antiderivative. And we know there, there isn't such a, a function. So it's not going to be a problem to leave it as a power series. OK, so uh, we want to write down a Maclaurin series for sine of x over x. So first, let's recall that a Maclaurin series for the sine function is equal to the sum from 0 to infinity. You have an alternator. Then you have odd powers of x divided by those odd powers factorial. All right, so if we divide by x, all that's going to do is decrease the exponent on x by 1. So we get the series with an alternator, and now we have x to the 2n over 2n plus 1 factorial. All right, now we would like to anti-differentiate sine of x over x. All right, so we have a theorem which tells us that when we want to anti-differentiate um, a function which is given by a power series, we're allowed to integrate it term by term. So this is what we mean by that. If I replace sine of x over x with its Maclaurin series, then I'm allowed to move this integral inside the sum. And of course, this exponent and uh, this um, uh, denominator here also are going to be able to you know, be pulled outside of that, that integral. So this is going to equal the sum from 0 to infinity, alternator over 2n plus 1 factorial. And now we just integrate the x to the 2n with respect to x. All right, so this is going to be very easy because we know that an antiderivative for x to the 2n is going to be x to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1. And so our power series antiderivative will be sum from 0 to infinity, the alternator over 2n plus 1 factorial times x to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1. And there we go. We found an antiderivative for sine of x over x.